Hello guys, today we are going to talk about ovoid pregnant sores is a danger to unborn piglets. Pigs are a type of domestic animal that exhibit high productivity due to their efficient feed conversion. As a result, breeding sores are considered hyperprolific because they can have a large number of piglets at each farrowing. All dietary components must be supplied to ensure that sows have a healthy and optimum gestation stage. Feeding should allow the sow to achieve the optimal body condition for gestation. In this manner, the piglets grow appropriately and the sow can reach farrowing with a lower risk of issues such as dystocia and stillbirths. Furthermore, this feeding will be critical in the formation of colostrum, which offers defenses for new referral piglets and milk during the rest of the growth period. These nutritional components guarantee that piglets in gestation grow to their full potential. Furthermore, they allow all processes and systems of the pregnancy to work optimally during the reproductive phase. High fiber feeds for weight control. The average source gestation lasts 115 days. With the objective of having the biggest amount of piglets delivered alive and with the greatest weight in the lead. Obese pregnant sores will most likely have fewer piglets. Furthermore, piglets born will be underweight. If your so is overweight, do not starve it to lose weight. Instead, Feed it a high fiber diet that should do the trick. Obese pigs can develop some metabolic syndrome, which include hypoglycemia, hypertension, insulin resistance, as well as, as, well as, as, well as insulinopenia. Obese pigs also have longer ester cycles, as well as Hyperandrogenemia. Exercise does not help pregnant pigs lose weight. They lose weight by balancing their calorie intake and output. Most pigs, particularly older pigs, are not as energetic as they were when they were younger. This concept applies to humans as well. Elderly people are less active than younger ones and their metabolism slows as they age. Pregnant pigs are no exception. An overweight pig already has mobility issues. It doesn't take long for arthritis to develop and interfere with the ability to walk or climb stairs. A constant weight gain, no plan in place to help a pig shed weight might worsen arthritis. If your pregnant pig is extremely obese, gradually reduce the amount of pig feed provided each day. Use high fiber meals that provide everything pig requires to be healthy. You need to start raising their food intake again after they have attained a healthier weight and increase their exercise level. Feeding a soul during each stage of a pregnancy. 0 to 35 days of pregnancy. Correct soft feeding at this period, as well as a comprehensive sanitary strategy, must ensure that your pregnant soul does not have embryo reabsorption. This loss of embryos causes economic losses and has an impact on the health of the soul. 35 to 75 days of pregnancy. The source food during this phase must ensure that she recovers and is ready for the following lactation. Furthermore, pregnant souls at this period might fatten up in accordance with their age and genetics. Excessive fat buildup in the mammary glands should be avoided. If it affects the viability of pregnancy or breastfeeding. 75 to 110 days of pregnancy. 
During this time, the soil should be offered a that contains all the components, all the nutrients required for good fetal growth as well as the final adaptive adoption of mammary gland for breastfeeding. Also prepare the soil for farrowing and keep her in a positive energy balance. Remember that overweight pigs are significantly more likely to have lameness and result refusal to rise. Due shift in behavior can soon lead to a slew of unwelcome health issues. Extra weight strains in their joints and may lead them to be less active. Thank you for listening to this session. I hope you have learned a lot. Please subscribe and like and follow us too. Thank you.